Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Saturday morning. I have a really busy day ahead of me. I wanna get ready for the day now. I already did my little morning routine, finishing my coffee. I just microwaved it for the third time. How many times a day do you microwave your coffee? It's usually like three for me. Ooh, it's hot. And now I'm just gonna do my makeup. So I figured that I would hop on camera and film a little chatty get ready with me for no other reason than I feel like it. So like I mentioned, it is Saturday morning. My husband works Saturday mornings, which is kind of nice because that means that I can work Saturday morning. So I usually try to film something and today I actually have quite a few videos to film. I'm hoping I can film three. I wanna do this one. And then after this, I wanna do a try on. I haven't filmed a try on in a while because I honestly haven't shopped in a while. I've just been trying to declutter my closet it, get rid of clothes I'm not wearing. So I just haven't felt the urge to shop. But when we were watching the Super Bowl last weekend, I saw at least two ads for a new app called Timu. I don't know if you saw it, but it was this woman like dancing around a city and kind of like tapping different people in different things and adding them to her cart. Essentially a shopping app. You may or may not know, but I'm not the biggest football fan. So while I watch and try to get invested in the game, I'm really like not. I figured why not just download this app and place an order, see what it's all about. I looked at it as a work opportunity. I figured it would be fun to place an order and then once everything arrived, try it on and just give you a full review of the app and the service and the brand, whatever. I wanna be clear because I am not into buying fast fashion. I definitely have in the past, every once in a blue moon, like maybe once a year, once every two years, I'll place an order with a fast fashion company and I'll normally buy things that I know I'm gonna wear a lot. I'm not purchasing like trendy outfits or things that I'll wear like one and done. It's just so bad for the environment and I have a little bit of an internal moral conflict every time I place an order with an Amazon, with a Shein, with a Timu, but it's out there, it exists, people are utilizing it, people are ordering from it and I think it's okay to try everything once. So I placed an order on Super Bowl Sunday, not expecting the order to arrive before I don't know, next week. And it was delivered this morning. About an hour ago, I got a notification that someone was at my front door and I saw that the package was left. So I was really excited because I knew I was planning to film today and I figured I'd add that to the lineup. So we're gonna see how the products hold up what the quality is like. Um, and I'm just gonna review the whole app. Most of you guys come here for the manicure content, but if you didn't know, this channel way before all the nail stuff was primarily a beauty channel. And while I've kind of strayed away from all the beauty stuff, I don't try and use as many products as I used to, I do still like them. There was also a little bit of fashion involved and I wanna to try to incorporate more of that you know, as it happens. So since Timu is new, I'm sure a lot of people, hopefully I'm even saying that right, Timu, it could just be an acronym, T-E-M-U, but it's new. I'm sure people have a lot of curiosity about it. So I figured I'd make a video and try it for myself. I also spent the morning doing a little cleaning around our house because I just can't keep it clean. It's not like it's that bad, but I feel so overwhelmed by stuff lately. And I say this all the time. I feel like this is, I'm a broken record. I can't stand having stuff. And at some point this week, I wanna do like a major clean out. We just renovated our kitchen in the fall when we moved everything back into it we didn't really like take proper stock or inventory of what we had or what we wanted to keep out. And it's a pretty small kitchen, so we didn't put everything back into the cabinets, but I already feel like there's too much stuff in there. So I'm gonna do a little decluttering. I am gonna reduce the amount of stuff in our cabinets at some point this weekend or this week. I just don't think we need it all. Again, we really don't have that much. We probably each have like I don't know, four, maybe five mugs. Then we have half a shelf of glasses, large plates, salad plates, bowls, but like, it's just a lot. And when you have a lot of stuff, you wash a lot of stuff. You know, if you only have two bowls, every time you need a bowl, you're gonna rinse the bowl. Or you're gonna make sure that bowl is clean after you use it so that it's ready for your next use. Tonight, we're going out to dinner with my sister, her boyfriend, and one of my girlfriends and her husband. We had plans with my sister and her boyfriend. And then my girlfriend's been trying to get together and I was like, do you wanna just join us for dinner? So it'll be nice to see them. I'm really excited. It's been a while. I haven't seen her since December. She doesn't live terribly close to me. So it's a little challenging for us to get together. It's just hard with friendships and different people and personalities and like how they like to spend time together. I've become so much more of a like very low key hangout friend, if that makes sense. I love to grab breakfast with my friends. I love to do a coffee date and often they're like, Pretty low key, pretty last minute. And if it works, it works. I feel like that's how this kind of came together today. And I'm excited because we like don't really go out much, at least not as of late. Just the winter season and, you know, settling into our house. We've been pretty big homebodies. I feel like you go through phases like that and we're currently very much in the middle of one, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I've been working a lot, but I like to work. I feel like it just gives me 
a reason to wake up in the morning. It keeps me busy, it keeps me occupied. We're also going away soon. So I don't know, I feel like before you go away, you have to like earn your vacation. So I've been working a little harder than normal. I have so many things I wanna do with Sweet Almond this year. And every time I like sit down to do them, like something else comes up. So hopefully soon, You'll be seeing a lot more from Sweet Almond, my pride and joy, I love her so much. I recently got approved for Facebook and Instagram shopping, but there are a few more steps that I have to go through before that's activated. Probably March, people will be able to buy directly in app. So I'm excited about that. I don't know if any of you guys are big TikTok people. I try not to be, I really do, but I love it. It's so interesting. I learn so much. It's so captivating. Like it really is an addictive app. And you know what, if the Chinese people own it and they're spying on me, what's up? I kind of don't think you can hide from anyone or any government or anything nowadays. So what's the point in trying? Whatever they want to find out about me, I'm sure they already know. Um, but anyway, where I was going with this is the Alex Earl phenomenon. Now I had seen her months ago, like one or two random videos would pop up in my feed and I would see everyone tagging her and mentioning her. And, and just a quick glance, she seemed like a really like booby young college girl that I had nothing in common with. I mean, at one point in my life, I would have had a lot in common with her, but today, not so much. But then I started watching her videos. I love the girl. I really love the girl for a million different reasons. Obviously she's gorgeous. Love how she does her makeup and hair. It's so effortless. She's just beautiful. She's totally capitalizing on TikTok and the whole social media thing. The girl is the definition of a jet setter. She is going somewhere like every other day. I don't think she spends a full week in one place. The past couple weeks, she was in Dubai for the Tarte trip. Then she was like, she goes to school in Miami. She was doing something there. Then she went, I think to like Colorado or Wyoming, wherever Michaela was. They were on a brand trip with glow something. Then she was at the Super Bowl. I don't know, she's just always somewhere. And I'm like, I don't know how she does it. I guess it's youth. You definitely have more energy when you're younger and all of these opportunities are probably so exciting for her. I think she used to date a professional or semi-pro baseball player maybe. And they broke up and she was kind of like, screw you, I'm gonna live my best life. And that is how she catapulted to fame, which good for her, but I don't really know. Point of story is, I'm really enjoying her content and some of the stuff she shares is super cute. So I like going down the Alex Earl rabbit hole every once in a while because like someone's gotta teach us millennials what the kids are doing. And it's so weird because I feel like I was her age yesterday. Like it feels like yesterday and it feels like a million years ago. But when I think of how much older I am than her, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's just wild like with this generation, like how they think, how they act, the confidence they have. I can't imagine growing up in today's society, like with social media and whatnot. I really can't. I would have loved to think I was someone who would capitalize on it, but even I was late to the blogging and the YouTube game. I mean, I started my blog in 2012, which is right around where some of the bigger bloggers were really blowing up. So people had been doing it for a few years prior. So I kind of like just missed the boom. And then I didn't have enough confidence to hop on YouTube until like 2017, 2016. I don't know if I would have ever had that like Alex Earl confidence, but it's fun to think you would. I also love to follow girls like her and just watch mindless content because the world feels so incredibly heavy lately. Just how the earth is in a very weird state. We're entering like a new world. We're kind of like shedding this old world that we're all used to and accustomed to and humanity is just kind of shifting. We're living in really weird times, that's all I can say. I think it's important to just continue to try to make your bubble the best bubble it can be. Try to just bring love and light, love and light. My mind gets really deep into some of these things every once in a while and that's why I like to consume the dumb stuff to just like, <sighs> ignorance is bliss. With that said, when I woke up this morning, I was trying to film another day in the life of my nails. Really been slacking on it. It's a lot harder to film those than you would think. So I don't know if it's gonna get done. I haven't been wearing eye makeup for probably a year or two. I mean, every once in a while I'll put it on, but I used to wear it every single day. Usually just a mascara girl these days, but I'm putting it on today because I have some filming to do. And this is one of those palettes that just always hits. Just right. It's good to have palettes that you can just trust and always resort back to. This, it's a Bare Minerals Gen Nude, the Rose Eyeshadow Palette. It's all like mauvey, pinky, purple mascara on here and then we're just about done. I'm gonna do my hair off camera because that'll take too long. So like I mentioned, my husband and I are going away soon and I cannot wait. I cannot wait for warm weather. If you live anywhere cold in the winter, you know how much of a struggle it is to get through the winter and we're both just like, Raving that vitamin D, a little sunshine. I've been using the telescopic mascara quite a bit. I made a whole video about it. I don't use it every day because it's a little intense, but I think I'm gonna put one coat of it on after this. I want a little lift. Ow. Mm. When you try to get too close to the lash, we'll let this side heal and we'll clean it up. 
Oh my god, that hurts so freaking bad. That is the problem with mascaras like this. I mean, anytime you poke your eyeball with a mascara wand, it's gonna hurt. But with these comb-like brushes, it's like a different kind of pain. Okay, please disregard the mess. I'm gonna let it dry before I clean it up and we're gonna go back and add the coat. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm gonna go clean up this eye, do my hair, add my lip, and come back and wrap up this video. Hair is done, makeup is done, I feel like a new woman. I've been washing my hair twice a week. It's either Tuesday or Wednesday, and Saturday or Sunday. And that schedule's been working out really well for me, and on wash days, I just, I get so excited and so happy because it's like I forget that I could look decent. And in those days in between, it just gets like worse and worse and worse leading up to the next wash day. But I'm ready for the day. I hope that you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. It honestly wasn't that exciting, but sometimes the least exciting videos are the most fun to watch, at least in my experience. I'm gonna try to link everything that I used below. The two key products that I've just been loving a lot lately are the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is almost empty and I'm really, really upset about it because I absolutely love this stuff. I go through phases where I want to wear a more full coverage foundation. I also go through phases where I want to wear a BB or CC cream or just powder or nothing at all. And I'm currently in the foundation phase. I just love how this makes my skin look. It's really truly flawless. It looks like it has a filter on it. Coverage is just right. I also have been topping it with this Bare Minerals Pro. It's all cracked inside, otherwise I would open it. But this is their 16 hour skin perfecting powder foundation in the shade medium 30 neutral. The days that I don't wanna wear a foundation, I'll just use this with my concealer. Otherwise the days that I do use the foundation, I'll just use this to kind of set it and it really makes your skin look perfectly flawless. Everything else that I applied, I will be sure to link as well. That is it for this video. If you enjoy these random get ready with me's let me know every once in a while I just feel like throwing my camera on and today was one of those days please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and I will see you guys in my next one bye